this right here plus coming up next. Who's in charge at the GM meetings there for the Boston Red Sox? Who's running the Boston Red Sox? And, um, so I'm going to cut you off right there. We both like Nick Swisher. I think Swisher is a good fit for him for a lot of reasons. Big market Swisher. Oh my God, not again. And third, I, I wish that you... Started uh, bowling at 16 in Brewer, Candlepin House. Uh, I, I find it's a more challenging game, it's a more interesting game, uh, and I'm probably better at 10 pin than I prefer this game. My name is Clark Cardamino. I originally started working here as a mechanic uh, to repair the machine, it's just helping out around the place. I learned in college uh, at the college lanes we had in uh, Worcester. And, uh, I've worked at a couple of Campbellton houses, and uh, so I, I know a little bit about the machines, and so that's how I got started here. And I see originally across the street there was uh, seven lanes maybe. Uh, in the spot behind Kingman's, there's an empty parking lot, and there was a building there that burned. And upstairs was seven lanes of both. And when that building burnt, 63, maybe 2, 63, somewhere around there, the plans were made to open this. And so he was one of the better bowlers in town. He naturally came over here and started working here. He was here the first day it opened, I believe. You have to check with them, but I'm pretty sure he was here the day they opened the doors. It was only supposed to be a family-oriented bowling center. No beer, no nothing. Hey, no beer. Back in 65. Did you know that? <laughs> what beer we done? I don't know. That's what we want to just make it up. You can't get a lane on Tuesday night. You just, you know, from 7 to 9 ish, you can't get in here. Uh, matter of fact, I should say from 6 to 9, really, because, you know, if you come in at 6, you've got 40 minutes before the league wants to warm up. There's just there's not enough time on a, on a Tuesday night work we're full. Uh, a lot of times, it's like anything else. You can advertise all you want. Uh, it's what it is. You know, it really is the right people getting their friends together, and all of a sudden, you know, it goes viral. It, it just immediately, you get the right group, and it takes off. Oh yeah, you know, it's uh, and that's kind of something that's uh, missing now, in general, everywhere. You know, we sit at home in front of the TV a little too much, or in front of the computer a little too much, and that's not community. You know, you can say, yeah, it is, all the people on my, you know, World of Warcraft guild or whatever is my community. Well, yeah, but not really. You know what I mean? It's not the same thing as being out with people. Throw them out there when they get a strike. Oh, that's okay. That's why I've been hearing it. Yeah. Okay. And if you look at the side of these, ah. they've been tapped many times like with those coins. I never even thought that. Dark right with me. Oh. I'm moving right there. Uh, <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> All right, now I know where to kick out of here. Oh, <laughs> They're all that way. It's all you. Nobody else does that. 